Hello, my awesome Saggies, Saggies. I missed you guys. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. So you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Saggies, what you'll be dealing with facing and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're concentrating on, thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Sagis. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Sagittarius? What will Sagittarius be dealing with facing in their life? And how is Sagittarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? How is Sagittarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? And what's coming towards Sagis in their life? Mm, this one wants to come out very strongly as extra message. Okay, Sagis. This is you not taking action towards your soulmate right now. You decided to be quiet and not reach out. You decided to hold back with your communication. This is you. You've been through a lot of heartbreak. Look at this. This is you heartbroken, trying to put all this behind you and heal, listening to your own wisdom. This is you retreating in solitude from everything around you right now. Like there's a lot of chaos from other people uh, coming towards you. Uh, and you just want to retreat. You just need a long time. Yeah, you feel it. You feel drained, tired from all the drama that's going on around you from, with other people. And you just feel like you need a long time in nature, you see, in nature, away from all the craziness going on. Yeah, this is you trying to balance yourself. You're holding on to your soulmate, though. Yeah, you, you still love this person. You view them as the one for you, you see? So at some point, you were hoping to have this long-term relationship with your soulmate. You're still holding on to them. Yeah, but this is, look at this. This is uh, showing that something serious broke the two of you up, whether it was a third party or something serious. Yeah, let's see. This shows me the way it showed up uh, in subconscious position. Uh, this person is holding some kind of resentment or anger. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Let's see what will clarify this energy. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Sagis. And how is Sagittarius currently doing on their soulmate journey universe. What's coming to us, Sagis? And how is Sagittarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? Wow, this is beautiful. Now you're showing up right side up, not reversed anymore. The universe is showing you that if you're thinking of retreating in solitude, spending a long time, it's, it's wise for you to do so. If you're doing it already, just continue till you feel... Uh, you ready to come out uh, of your uh, hiding place. You see, you, you need this a long time to balance your energy. Your energy feels out of balance. You may feel kind of low on energy or not, not uh, well or maybe sick or maybe you didn't sleep good. But something is affecting you and you need a long time. You need rest. You need retreat in nature. Wow, you see, you love this person still. Yeah, you do love this person still. Lover's energy showing up here. Ooh, so look at this. Twice from two different tarot decks. So this person is holding on to you as well. They're not releasing you either. Yeah, you see, this is you. Concentrating on your work, finances, business, job, profit. It looks like you're doing well for yourself. You are respected. Uh, at the place where you work, whether you have your own business or work for somebody else. Yeah, you see, you need this alone time, retreat in solitude. You need it. 
and it's going to totally balance your energy. You see, you're going to see uh, the light again. You're going to feel happy again. You're going to feel uh, fulfilled again. Yeah, you need a long time for now in retreat. Yeah, you see? This is you trying to figure out how to let go of this situation, this, this connection. Uh, you're not able to let them go because of the connection being so deep past life connection between you and this person yeah look at this this is you you stressed out you're very stressed out by a lot of different things some new beginnings showing up here for you at your job or business so you may be changing something at your job or business maybe changing a job or the way you do business or changing a position there's something coming up for you you're going to take that chance yeah, you, you're going to be brave and take that chance. You're going to take a leap of faith. Uh, hmm, this is good, Sagis. This is good. Uh, if you're feeling low on energy, tired, you, you're going to be better. You just need a long time to uh, balance your energy, to ground yourself, to get away from chaos around you, from other people. Let's see. You know, to show us what's coming towards Sagis and how is Sagittarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? Wow. Uh, this person of yours wants to communicate with you. Yeah, you see? They're thinking of you, reminiscing of you, missing you. Six of Cups, past life connection between you two. It's like the two of you cannot let each other go. Yeah, you see, they also stressed out. This is them also stressed out. You feel unappreciated at your job or business by some people. Hmm. Like you have jealousy. If you have your own business, you have jealousy around you from other people. So you know what that means. When people are jealous, that means you're doing something right. Just continue doing what you're doing. Yeah. Let's see. Your soulmate, the person you're thinking of while watching this video. You know, please show us um, the soulmate of Sagittarius. The soulmate of Sagittarius. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Sagis? And how is the soulmate of Sagis towards Sagis at this time? They miss you. Yeah, you see, they have a hard time letting you go. This is them unable to move on with their life fully. They know what they want to do. They do know that they want to see you, but they're scared. You see, they're scared of you, your reaction, of how you're feeling, or what you're feeling, or what you're thinking. Yeah, this person is very drawn to you, very attracted to you. Universe, please show us. The soulmate of Sagittarius. The soulmate of Sagittarius. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Sagis? And how is the soulmate of Sagis towards Sagis at this time? Wow, this person wants to communicate so badly with you, but they're holding back. They they silent, but they don't like being silent. They want to communicate. They want to uh, interesting. They want, they don't want you to know that they really want to reconcile with you. Yeah, they love you. So this is love. This is them holding their cup of love for you, overflowing with emotions. They're trying to figure out what it is you feel for them at this time. Yeah, I see. They're not able to move on, not able to let you go. Yeah. They're very guarded. Ooh. What happened? So there was some kind of betrayal in this situation between you two. This is for betrayal. They feel like something was done wrong, like they were betrayed or their trust was betrayed uh, or they betrayed you uh, and they had to let this go, like they had to release you. But you see, they can't let you go. This is them wanting to uh, see you. Yeah, you see, this is them trying to figure out 
What it is you feel for them? Do you miss them? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? Do you love them? They're trying to figure all that out. This person has a lot of different people interested in them. Yeah, this is them being looked at by other people interested in this person. Yeah, see, this person is missing you. This is them missing you a lot, but yet so conflicted, so guarded with their heart. Um, hmm. Let me see what's going on here. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Sagis. Yeah, they want to communicate. They want to clear the air with you. Yeah, you see, they uh, view you as the ultimate soulmate. Major connection between you two. Yeah, you see, they want to take action. Yeah, you see, there is some kind of animosity between you two showing up very clearly. Uh, they feel some kind of resentment, uh, maybe anger, and want to... Uh, express things to you to clear the air because there's something you're not understanding that they are feeling because they're not talking about it but they feel like they need to clear the air between the two of you like communication is absolutely necessary to clear the air <sighs> this person is single they're not really in a relationship with anyone you see concentrating heavily on their money job finances um, this person wants to see you though. Yeah, they do. Even if they don't admit it to anyone, this person wants to see you. They feel unresolved in this situation with you. We're going to go into your extended reading, Sagis, and we're going to ask about this person's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term at this time. Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or not, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, Whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So, Sagis, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.